Hello, I thought it would be cool to do a review on my entire fountain pen collection. So I have 16 fountain pens in total, and let's just get into it. So one of my favorite first fountain pens was the Lamy Safari, and this is the all black version. Let's see if I can try. So yeah, this is all black. This is an extra fine nib. This is a base fountain pen, the best entry fountain pen in my opinion. The next, um, this, ha this is inked up with diamine onyx black. Onyx black. Okay, the next one is the Lamy Lux. This is also one of my favorites, this may have like aluminum body and this has the fine nib. This is one of the best like fine nibs you can find out there. And this is also a seal nib and this is really good quality. This is uh, more like a Western fine than it is like a Japanese fine. Okay, this is not inked up right now. So as you can see, there's no ink. The next is the Faber-Castell Ambition. This is the black version, this is plastic. And this is the medium nib. This is a really cool. This is also all steel nib. This is one of the smoothest nibs you can find in terms of steel nibs. Faber-Castell is known for really high quality as you can see by my other favorite castell pens okay this is also not inked up right now my next one one of my favorites is the Caran Dash 849 this is a hexagonal body and this is my probably my go-to throughout college for just tossing around and just frying every day for notes. And this is an extra fine nib. It's really cool. This is also a steel nib. And this, is, this has a lot of feedback, but this is really good for taking quick notes because you're not worried about like damaging the nib or whatnot. I was able to get this for a really cheap price. Now, since I got it, I think the prices have skyrocketed, but I would recommend this for college more than Lamy Safari and the Lamy pens, honestly. Okay. Now we can start, this, this is my like high end pens. And these four are my just tossing around, just quick notes not really worrying about like getting damaged pens. Now these are like, they have to be in cases. Okay. So, we could start from the left. This is the Custom 74. The, this is the translucent demonstrated version. I have this in medium nib. It's one of the best nibs. Pelic, uh, I mean, Pilot makes one of the smoothest nibs out there. It's just really high quality. And this is a medium, this is Japanese medium. So this writes more like a Western fine. And this is inked up with a uh, Diamine Red Dragon. This is a really cool ink. Okay more I might do a review on this but it's one of my favorite pens to just write on a daily basis I really like the cool design of this pen um, this is a cartridge converter like the other pens I've shown 
and this has a con 70 converter which holds like 1.4 milliliters of ink which is a pain to clean but this is a good ink for note taking for college that's what i've used it for and it's just great okay the next one This is the Karandash Lamon All Black Ebony Lacquer Fountain Pen. This is this might be my top three favorite fountain pens of all time. This is pretty heavy because it's made of you know, lacquer, and this isn't fine nib. I have another one in meme that I'll show in quick. It's a beautiful nib. Let's see if it focuses. Yep. What I like about this is because this section is also a lacquer, so it's not slippery and it feels so comfortable and it has the perfect balance for me. This you can ride like this for hours. And this is screw on and this is a cartridge converter pen Let's open it I don't want to open it but like this cartridge converter pen this is currently inked up with uh, let's see where is it yeah Caron Dash Organic Brown this is my favorite ink of all time and this is probably my favorite pen of all time yeah this is a really cool ink I'll do a writing sample in the end. Okay. Don't want to mess it up. Okay. So, next one is the Graph One Favorite Castell Classic. This is also one of my favorite fountain pens. The clip is really what well, stands out and this design. This is a newer version. I have an old version that I'll show you guys in a moment. But you can see that's the difference in terms of the new version, different logo. This is made out of wood. This is a perma something, perma something, what I think. I forgot how to pronounce it, but this is, has a really good feeling to it. And the nib is gorgeous. See, yeah, this is a really cool nib. The only con of this is the grip section. This can be slippery if you're writing for like more than half an hour, but most times if you just wipe it off, you're, it's fine and the experience is really good. This is a really smooth, extra fine nib. Yeah. This is also a cartridge converter. Let's see if I can show it. Yep, here. It's one of my favorite pens as well. This is inked up with, let's see. Faber Castell. I mean, grab one paper castle carbon black. This has one of the best like ink bottle designs. It lines up perfectly every time you close it. Okay, I'll just close this. What's cool about this is um, each one's gonna be different because they make the wood, so you might have a little bit different variation in terms of the wood how it looks, and it's one of the best feelings ever in terms of fountain pens. And this is not a really uh, big fountain pen. You can, I mean, this is pretty long. This is not that big, but you can post it. You can post it securely. Then it becomes really back heavy because it's made out of fully metal. So I don't post any of my pens, so. Okay, the next one. Oh, you can post this one, these two as well. 
I don't post neither and I would never recommend posting pens that have lacquer coating because you can damage it. Okay. The next one is Custom Heritage 9112. 912. This has a FA nib, a Falcon nib. This is probably one of the f most fun nibs to write with because of that nib. This is, this is the closest thing you'll get to a modern flex nib. Pelican, I mean, Pilot's number 10 nib. I'll show this in the writing sample, but this is great. This is also a cartridge converter. You, I mean, this is, yeah. I have the, just having a hard time opening it. But yeah, I have the, yeah, I uh, have the Con 70 in this as well. And you need to have a lot of ink to do flex writing, because this is a wet nib. But yeah, this is one of my favorite pens as well. Okay, I might do a review on this as, as well. You can post this as, as well, but this is a pretty big pen to begin with. And this is made out of resin, so when, even if you post it, this is not heavy at all. This might be slightly back heavy, but it's not too much. But yeah, this is also a really cool pen. Okay, the next pen is... This is the Karandash Dunas fountain pen. This is a medium nib. This is made out of uh, resin as well. It has a cool clip. The logo you can see right there. And it's like a, it's like multi-faceted, I think six facets. And the nib is made out of steel. And the previous 9112 is made out of 14 karat gold. This one's made out of 18 karat gold. Okay, so this is medium steel nib. And this is probably the smoothest steel nib I've ever tried. That's why I have two of these. See, it's cool nib. I think this was limited edition. I was able to get this for a really cheap price. Uh, I think I was able to get this for like 80 bucks, which is... That's why it's better than most gold nibs, believe it or not, in terms of smoothness. The next one is, uh, it's also a cartridge converter. This is my Grail fan pen. I did a review on this, my first ever review. And this is the St. DuPont Line D, the True Human Limited Edition fan pen. This is this comes part of the writing kit. You can check out my other video where I did a review. And yeah, this is a really cool. This is made out of a lacquer. Let's see if we can make it. Yes. Really stunning fountain pen. I use this, I try to use all the time. This is limited to 300 in terms of this model. But this is a really, this is a heavy fan pen too. And this is a long fan pen, so I don't ever post it. And this is a click mechanism. So you can just, and it never dries up. So this is probably one of the best. And c 2 is known for their uh, lacquers, which is stunning. I mean, this is made in France, and it's also a cartridge converter. Yes, metal finish. This can be this can be slippery, but because of the ridges, it's not really slippery. And the nib, it's a beautiful fourteen karat gold nib. It's a medium. That like scribbly design of the nib is so cool. Plastic feed. 
This is the smoothest fountain pen I have. And that says a lot because I have a Pelican 800. So, yeah. Right now, I have a cartridge converter. I have a, oops. I have the Sate DuPont Royal Blue ink in there. This is a really wet nib. I mean, this is a really wet ink. And the pen is really wet too, so it makes perfect combination. I don't really like that wet pens, but this is just fun, fun pen to write with. Okay, the next one is the Pelican M800. This is the all black version. This is one of my favorite fountain pens as well. It's a really smooth fountain pen. This is one of the older versions because of top other the newer versions have like all gold or like they don't really have the black surrounding of the pelican itself i should say pelicans but yeah so the pelican nib is awesome so this is a medium that nib is gorgeous This writes like a medium. I mean, there's some inconsistency with nibs, with Pelican, where like some of them, some mediums write like broad, some write like just regular mediums, some write like dull rod, but this writes like a medium. And depending on the ink, it can be wetter and make it write like a broad. Right now, this has the Pelican Royal. Yeah, Pelican Royal Blue ink. This is this is not really a wet ink, but yeah, this works perfectly with this. Cause the Pelican nibs are wet usually. Okay, to the next one. This is the Karan Dodge Dunas fountain pen. This is the black version of this one. And pretty much the same thing. This is also in, in in a medium nib yeah i use this version a lot more than the white version because i don't want to get that one dirty but this this is a really cool nib this is really smooth this is smooth is like this is really smooth this can be like as smooth as a pelican 800 honestly Depends on how good the nib is, because this this medium and this nib is not as smooth as this one. This is way smoother than this one. Even though they're supposed to be the same nib. Okay, yeah, this is not inked up right now, but I'll ink it up for the writing sample. Okay. The next one is Favorite Castell Classic. This is in fine. This was in the extra fine. This is the older version. This is also in wood finish. This is the older version because of that logo. As you can see, it's the old. And this is the box that it comes in. And this one is the one that comes. Oh. Almost dropped everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this one comes with this one and this box, which is here, comes with this one. This is the old version before they changed the logos. But yeah, this is. The finish is really cool. Yeah, I would get this one to match with the other one as contrast. So both wood finishes. Okay. I mean hand me in Germany. Classic. 
clip is so cool. And this is also a cartridge converter to nib. This is a fine nib. Plastic, I mean plastic feed. Just by color nib. Just a gorgeous nib. The old logo is actually better than the new one, in my opinion. And I was able to get this for free. Okay, this is my one of my favorite. To fry with, and right now this is inked up with uh, oh, yeah, grab, yeah, the Lamy Blue. Forgot to inked up with this ink, this is one of the good blue inks, it's pretty cheap, and yeah, show us in the writing sample. But this can, for some reason, this nib is an, isn't as good as this one because this is like I bought this used and yeah okay well I bought it used then I got my money back and sort of got it for free which was confusing but yeah this this is a cool pen to get for free the next one is the say DuPont D-Link fountain pen this is no longer available, I think. This was like a limited production or something like that. And this is one of my favorite fountain pens as well. Because it's like a cool size and it's made out of lacquer, like the other, say, DuPont. And let's see. Black lacquer. This is, has good weight to it and it feels so nice. The lacquer as a the, and this section is a really good feeling because it's not slippery, it's just a perfect feeling. The nib is really cool. It's 18 karat gold nib, it's also a medium. The other one is in 14 carats, but that one. Even though it's only 14 carats, writes way smoother than this one. Even though this writes as smooth as a Pelican M800. Yeah. This is also a cartridge converter. The ink that I have in there is the same, say, DuPont Royal Blue. I think the only, like, Fountain pen that is not cartridge converter is my Pelican M800, which is a piston converter, which is translucent. I'm not sure if I showed it, but it's hard to show it in this, but in camera, but you can see the ink level right here when you shine into the light. Okay, now to my sailor. This is the Sailor 1911 large and fine nib. This is a demonstrated version, demonstrated gold version. This is a really cool fountain pen. This is my only Sailor fountain pen. And Sailors are like unique in terms of how they write. They're like a pencil feedback type writing. Some might like it, some might not. I really like it because when you're taking fast notes, makes you feel like you're just being productive <laughs> but yeah this is all my other nibs are usually like more smooth so it's a contrast to have like a feedback type nib but it's not a scratchy type feedback the nib is gorgeous This is a great nib. Demonstrator version. Right now, this one of the best things about this demonstrator is because the ink doesn't come inside in here, like in other ones, like the Pilot. 
custom 74 you can see the ink if it's fully transparent but like in this there's no ink spills so it's like clean demonstrator which i really like yeah this name is so stunning this is 21 karat gold fine nib Okay, this is also a cartridge converter. This is inked out with Majestic Blue by oh. this one, Diamine Majestic Blue. Okay, I just have all my inks there just to show like what ink it is. And this is my last one. This is the Carandage Le Mans in medium. This wasn't fine this is a medium and this is also made out of the same finish ebony black all lacquer it's really good feel to it the nib is pretty much the same medium nib and this one this is inked up with the pelican i made the pelican uh royal blue ink now, uh, go to the writing samples. The videos look really long already, so I might just like quickly go to the writing samples and yeah, be right back. Okay, so I decided I'm gonna break up the video in two parts. This is already 27 minutes long, so I'm just going to make a part two video and do a writing sample in this order, in this Lustrum notebook. So just check out the part two of the video to see the writing sample for each of these pens.